The Stupid Hour. I, I just, I can't believe he's gone, Brock. There, there, Ash. <laughs> Team Rocket has taken Pikachu before, and we always blast their candy asses off. Chin up, little buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Now get some shut-eye. We're going to have to bring our A-game tomorrow if we want to get Pikachu back safe and sound. Right. Good night, Brock. Good night, Ash. <laughs> Meowth and Jesse aren't going to like this. But at the rate things are going, you and your twerpy little friends are going to blast the three of us off permanently. Well, if you ask me, I'd rather lose my job at Team Rocket than my f***ing life. Especially not to some insolent twerps and their pet rat. Pika. After I discreetly return you tonight, I'll never have to see any of you s*** ever again. <sighs> Brock! Did you hear some weird sh just now? I sure did, Ash. Sounds like James from Team Rocket to me. Let's go check it out. The noise came from this direction. Impossible. The instincts are uncanny. I did need if I don't think of something. And fast. Gugong. Gugong. Chew. What the? Don't you know anything, Ash? That's the call of a wild gongachu. Oh. Gongachu, the flesh collecting Pokemon. Little is known about this Pokemon, as all who encounter it are never seen again. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Looks like you were right, Brock. Of course I was right, Ash. There's no mistaking the call of a wild Gongachu, or the sound it makes as it tears flesh from the bone. It chills your soul, Ash. <laughs> Once you've seen it, heard it, it changes you. It takes a part of you. A part that you can never get back. And that's if, and only if, by some miracle of Pokey Christ himself, you're actually able to survive. I bet I could catch one with a Master Ball. This is no time for your rookie sh catch him. Pikachu's in much more danger than we originally thought. If you ever want to see Pikachu again, we need to investigate those noises carefully. If we're really dealing with a Gongachu, we're in for some real sh just follow my lead, and maybe we'll live to tell the tale. But... <laughs> Pika Pika P. This is definitely where we heard those noises coming from. But the situation smells fishier than Misty's Pokeballs. <laughs> a Gongachu never would have allowed Pikachu to survive this long. This is either a miracle or James from Team Rocket. <laughs> 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 Brock, you found Pikachu. Hey, pal, don't worry, okay? We're gonna find a way to get you out of there. Uh, oh, uh, Brock, I think you're scaring Pikachu. Uh, I don't see nothing. <laughs> Look again. <laughs> it's James from Team Rocket! You're damn right it is. I totally knew it all along too, Ash. Let's beat his ass. <laughs> Send out Geodude so we can buckle his knees with rock throw. God. Or maybe a few thousand volts from Pikachu. No, I was only here to get Pikachu back. I swear, if you little psychos are going to kill me, at least make it quick. Stand back, Brock. It's about to get messy, right, Pikachu? Uh, uh, Pikachu? <laughs> Don't give me that look. I've been sitting right here in front of you. This is... Oh, oh f*** that. <laughs> There's no mistaking that sound, Ash. Well, I mean... It seems a Gongachu really has run off with Pikachu this time. In which case... 
I fear he's already suffered a truly agonizing death. Not necessarily. The glass dome of Pikachu's... The glass dome Pikachu's trapped inside of isn't just shockproof. It's practically indestructible. Even the strongest of Pokemon can't get in or out. On top of that, you need to input a passcode to open it. A code only I know. Like it or not, you punks need me alive if you ever want to see Pikachu again. Mm. I call bullshit. Your team who has Team Rocket Tech wouldn't stand a chance against a Gongachu. I'm about to blast him off. Uh, hang on, Ash. I think I may have a better use for him. 